Hello everyone, I'm Christina Breza from Variety Magazine. Thank you so much for joining me today. Segment on Powerful Women Online, How to Become Your Own Hashtag Boss. Today we have a very special guest, Miss Lilia Carr, who is a powerful woman both online and offline. Welcome Lilia, or shall I say, at Lilia Carpe Dia. Yes, yes. Um, I thank you so much for having me. I feel so blessed to be here. Um, and I love being a powerful woman online and the message of being your own hashtag boss. So thank you. Of course. Thank you. So Lilia, you have gained such a huge social media following. Five million. Yeah. That's, that's impressive. Yeah. What do you credit your soaring popularity to? Oh, I would say uh, hard work consistent posts and my body. I found my uh, trainer on Instagram two years ago and she's changed my life. Oh, and also my amazing fans. You guys are the best. <laughs> amazing. So for someone who looks at you and thinks, oh, that's easy. How would you describe a typical day for you? Mm. I'm so glad you asked this. Uh, Okay, so a typical day for me, I'd wake up at 9.30 a.m. I'm a late sleeper. Um, I found one of those tests online that tells your body's prime hours of sleep, and mine are from 2.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m., so I try to keep it between that time frame. Uh, so I wake up, and my glam team comes over, my team team comes over. My glam team's amazing. They do my hair, my nails, my makeup for every shoot, uh, which is great because sometimes I wake up a bit hungover, and so they have to, like, work with me when I'm, like, half asleep. But they love it. They're totally awesome. cool with it. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then I get some coffee and food, and me and my team and I figure out the content for the day. And I think to myself, what would 5 million followers want to see? And then just not get hung up on the gravity of that you know hmm. so how do you come up with your inspiration and ideas for your videos oh, yeah I mean a lot of my ideas come from my own life I mean, my ideas are like an extension of me right they're they're like my baby except like like a baby that I take care of for a little while and then I send off like a mini adult Right. You know, I kind of feel like I'm the perfect mixture of inspirational and relatable. So what do you think is the biggest lesson you've learned over the years? The biggest lesson I've learned is how to say no. I have to turn down work all the time and it's very, very hard, but I mean, it's for the best usually. Mm -hmm. And what was the biggest thing you've ever had to turn down? Oh hard um all right well you know what I'm 100% real so I will say uh last year I turned down a million dollar contract and you know this was really hard and uh I spoke to my my therapist my online therapist my family my friends um my medium my guru my spiritual advisor my uh, crystal healer my tarot card reader and together we came up with the idea that I just feel like that wasn't the right thing for me and it ended up being for the best because um, I was able to take on many more projects and make way more money with other things that felt more on brand to me. So I think my biggest lesson or my biggest piece of advice that I would give people is to learn how to say no and that uh, you have to turn down jobs that just don't feel right. So you said earlier that you are a perfect mix of inspirational and relatable. Yeah. How are you relatable? Oh, I mean, that's my entire brand. I mean, I'm completely relatable. I mean, I'm, I'm a 25-year-old New Yorker who um, is working on my brand and my, and my identity in this big, bad city. So I feel like a lot of people can relate to that. But you have 5 million followers and make seven figures a year. Yeah, because I'm inspirational and relatable. I can't forget the inspirational because I think a lot of people uh, tell me that they work to try to emulate and be like me, especially with my style, so... Okay. Yeah. So let's take some questions from yeah. your fans. All right. We have at Lilia Fanboy257. He writes, I love you, Lilia. Oh, that's so sweet. I love you too. Wait. You love him? You don't even know him. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I love all my followers. Oh, okay. So he writes, I love you, Lilia. You are such an inspiration to me. I'm going through a difficult time right now and your posts and videos give me so much joy. Oh. What kind of advice would you give to people who are being bullied or don't feel like they have any friends? Well, thank you so much for, for sending that in. 
Um, and what I would say is to keep doing what you're doing and finding joy in things. I'm so happy you find joy in my content. That's great. But definitely find other stuff as well and to, and to know that it gets better. Thank you. Okay, so at Guy Agostini one mm -hmm. asks, when is your new body jewelry collaboration mm -hmm. coming out? Yeah. Your last line was so lit. I'm obsessed. And it's been four months since your last collab. When are we getting new pieces? <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I mean, I get that a lot. It, You know, it's hard because I'm just in a really fortunate place where I have a lot of stuff going on. So I'm working on my new book, which is great. So I'm sending chapters to my editor and stuff. And I have four projects that are launching in the next six months. Uh, but it's so great. I can't really talk about the specifics. But I will say that next Tuesday, I'm going to be announcing my first project. And the launch is going to be amazing. So definitely tune into my social media, specifically my Instagram stories. Set an alarm. Oh, yeah, please. That'd be great. <laughs> so last question yeah. from at Mish5182. Mm -hmm. Lilia, who is your biggest inspiration in life? My mother. Um, she's amazing. She has the best work ethic, best style. She looks fantastic. Um, so lucky. And uh, she's great. She's my best friend. That's beautiful. So thank you so much, Lilia, for spending time with us on our segment of Powerful Women how to become your own hashtag boss. <laughs> this segment was brought to you by Verizon Wireless, America's most awarded and reliable network. Thank you so much for having me and thank you Verizon. 